Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aisha Rose and today I'm telling you all about the beloved Fatima. Alhamdulillah. Fatima bint Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you don't know anything about her or if you do know anything about her, then stick around because I'm going to reveal some things that I think you might not know. I loved researching about Fatima because I found out so many things. She was an incredibly kind soul. There was a little bit of controversy around a couple of topics around her to do with the Sunni Muslims and the Shia Muslims disagreeing on certain things. I'm not going to cover those controversies because who am I to cover those controversies, you know. Fatima, the youngest daughter of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and Khadija. She was one of the closest people to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She supported him a lot. She cared for him so deeply. There was one incident when um, Abu Jahl and his clan put disgusting camel parts on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's body when he was doing a salah. And as soon as she found out, she came running to the masjid and she started um, like shouting at them and like telling them off and she like was very protective over her dad. She really, really, really cared for her dad a lot. She's the only child of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to have male children that live beyond childhood. And her descendants are now spread among us still in the Islamic world. They're known as the Sayyids. I might pronounce that wrong. It's generally believed by most that she was born while well, Prophet Muhammad peace upon him was around 35 years old uh, in Mecca around five years before the first revelation of the Quran came and during the rebuilding of the Kaaba. But there's some dispute around this. Uh, the local customs meant that most children were born were actually sent to wet nurses, but she wasn't. She was looked after by her mum and dad the whole time. Many of the Prophet's companions, please be upon him, were very keen to marry her, like Abu Bakr and Umar. Um, but the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was waiting for a sign, a, a sign from Allah on who the correct person was. And when his cousin Ali came to do a proposal, well, he came to do a proposal, but he was a bit shy. So he didn't actually mention that he was coming to propose to um, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's daughter. But Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sort of figured it out and said, have you come for this? And they, and then he realised and... He agreed and he asked Fatima if she was okay and uh, she allowed, so they got married. Um, Ali had to sell his most precious shield, very expensive golden shield, um, as dower to Fatima. So he sold it and got married to her and the man that he sold it to actually gave it back to him on the wedding day as a, as a gift, as a wedding gift to the, the newlywed couple. So I thought that was a really sweet story. It shows sort of how the Ummu was very close and very kind and considerate towards each other. Like imagine selling your most prized possession and then someone who like, the, the person who brought it for you gives it back to you the day you get married. Mashallah, I think that's so sweet. Uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him performed the ceremony, the, um, the wedding ceremony. But she and Ali lived a very humble life compared to her other sisters who all married into wealth. Uh, her and Ali lived very, very humbly. They built a house near the Prophet peace be upon him and then they realised that they weren't close enough. So they actually um, moved like right next to the masjid where Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was living. For several years after marriage, she did all the work herself. She had swollen shoulders where she would be constantly carrying water from the wells. She had blisters on her hands where she was always grinding corn. And when the economic situation got better with the Muslims, uh, she started to have like housemaids around, but she treated them like family. And she also performed the housework with them. She never just left them to do it by themselves. And this is one of my most favorite things. I, I can't wait to tell you this. So Tasbih, Tasbih came from Fatima. So you know the Tasbih we do, we're like SubhanAllah, Allah Akbar, Alhamdulillah, and then we say La 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 at the end. So that came because um, she asked her dad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for a slave to help her around the house. And he said to her, let me give you a better gift. Would you like a better gift than that? And she said, yes. So he said to her, do this every time after prayer. And he said, the SubhanAllah, Allah Akbar, Alhamdulillah, La La La. And he said, you know, do 33 times SubhanAllah, 33 times Alhamdulillah, 33 times Allah Akbar, one time La La La. 
and that's where that came from and I love that because Tasbih was what brought me towards Islam in the first place. If you know my revert story, you'll know that that was the thing that brought me towards Islam in the first place. So I loved hearing that. So the majority Sunni view is that she died of grief following her dad's death, um, 10 years after she got married to Ali. Um, there's another belief as well that uh, the majority of Shias believe and some others as well. Um, but I'm not gonna go into that. It's a little bit controversial. You can look into it if you want. Um, her burial place is unknown because uh, she didn't want anyone to know where she was buried. When they moved next to the Prophet, peace be upon him, he used to shout outside of their house every morning, peace and blessing on the household of Nabi. It was a blessed household, their family, Fatima and Ali's family. At one time they fasted for three days and they gave all of their food to orphans and prisoners who were knocking on their door hungry. The Prophet, peace be upon him, had so much respect for her that every time she entered the masjid, he would stand for her. And during that time, that meant a lot because women were not respected in that time at all. And that's all I have to say on this. Thank you for listening. I have some more. There's more stuff I know. If you want to leave any information in the comments, feel free. There's loads of stuff about her that's really interesting. I hope to see you guys really, really soon. See you later. Alhamdulillah.